Titling videos is actually pretty difficult. I've been thinking about this because uh, a while ago I was very unsatisfied with the quality of the videos that I was making, and honestly I still am. But um, I was trying to figure out exactly what about the videos I was unsatisfied with, and there was two things. One was the, the video itself. Like, I wasn't doing enough prep work, I wasn't doing enough editing, I wasn't filming in interesting ways, etc, etc. Um, and the second thing is, I'm just not getting views. I want to get views and that would be pretty cool. And so uh, I'm trying to make more videos that are more meta, uh, videos about the video making process, about putting videos out. Um, yeah, so the, the making of them, the publishing of them, uh, the metadata of them. So this is like meta about the meta of the videos because this is a video about the metadata for the videos that I'm making that are about making videos. <laughs> um, yeah, so like in order to get more views, you have to get people to click on your video. And in order to get them to click on the video, you have to have a very good title and thumbnail. Uh, Basically, those in a weird, uncomfortable way are almost more important than the video itself uh, because you can have the, an amazing video, but if you have a trashed thumbnail and title, no one's going to click on it and no one's going to see it. So, you have, yeah, you have to have a good title and a good thumbnail. And I'm thinking about this right now because my previous video... Uh, I recorded it and I've uploaded it. It's not gone live yet because I cannot think of a name for it. So whenever you see this, you can go here and see my previous video and see whatever I have decided to call it. But basically, uh, this video is about meditation and me having a question about meditation, something I don't know about it. And so I have to think about my target audience. I have to try to figure out what type of person do I want to see this video? Someone who's really good or at meditation or really knowledgeable about how it functions in the brain. And then I have to figure out what can I call this that will be most likely to convince them to click on it. What is going to be the most clickable thing, but also something that that type of person is going to want to click on. Uh, and I changed my video t uh, titles fairly often-ish. Um, it's like, usually when I have a video, I'll come up with a few different titles, and then I'll come up with, and then I'll, like, I'll choose one, and I'll be like, alright, this is the title. Um, sometimes the title is actually what comes first, and it's like, everything about the video is based on the title, because it's a hilarious uh, idea of what to call a video. And the video itself is like, yeah, whatever. I'll just, I'll make whatever. And because the concept to me is so good that it's like, yeah, the video can be whatever because I just love the title. Um, sometimes it's completely opposite. I have a video idea and I know what's going to be in the video, but I don't know what to call it. That's what happened with this previous video. Um, and then many other times I will come up with a better title a couple days later, <laughs> which is one of the many reasons I want to have lots of videos pre-made and pre-scheduled out in advance. That way, if I've already had it queued up, uploaded, but not published, not not visible, um, and then like two, three days later, I come up with a better title, I can change it because that does make a difference in how many views you get because the title doesn't just matter when it's on the side there and you're getting it recommended to you but it also matters in people's notification bars on their phone um, in their subscription feed and I was hoping that while I'm rambling about video titles I would come up with a, a title for this video but I, I just cannot think of it at the moment I could also go through some of my videos and talk about the ones where I've changed the title. So like, my brain is ow. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I, it was previously called head trauma because that's what happened. I had physical head trauma. Oh, I'm feeling much better by the way. I'm, I'm getting there. 
um, as you can see, like I can move my head around a bit more and it's not hurting as much. Um, but yeah, the head trauma, it's like, it wasn't, I mean, I didn't break my skull, luckily. Um, it just didn't feel like a, a, what's the word? The title, it just felt, eh, you know, versus my brain is ow. It gets the point across, but it's also a little bit silly and uh, it feels more clickable, you know? What else do we got here? Uh, videos that I have changed the name of. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to scroll back a while. I guess it's been a while actually since I've changed the name of a video. Interesting. It's been quite a while because I'm scrolling way back. And wow, it's been like a, a while. It's also been a while since I've scrolled back this far. Huh, interesting. Anyways, um, so I don't know what to call my previous video, which by the time you see this, it will have already been posted and you'll already know what it's called. But I don't know what to call it. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Share my videos, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Take care.